Last time on Gaming Through the Ages. We started off our adventure playing Gunfight from 1975 on an arcade machine. In Gunfight, Ben and I had 70 seconds to shoot each other as many times as possible while dodging each other's bullets. The game had extremely basic sprites, single axis player movement, a very low resolution and only two colours, black and yellow, displayed on the screen at once. At the end of the episode, we looked to the future, ditched the arcade machine room and prepared to order our first video game console, the Fairchild Channel F released in 1976. It was the first system to have games stored on ROM cartridges and viewers of this series were encouraged to pick which game released in 1976 on the Fairchild Channel F we would play in this episode. Welcome to Gaming Through the Ages, the series where we take a look at games from many different genres and consoles through time from 1975 to now in chronological order. Once we've reached modern times, we start back at 1975 and explore a different group of games. Based off the votes in the last video, we will be playing Hockey, one of the two inbuilt games on the Fairchild Channel F. Drag Strip and Tennis were also requested, but had less votes than Hockey, so we may play them next time we travel back to 1976. Anyway, let's start playing. So here we are playing Hockey. Now the main aim is I'm the blue guy and you're the red guy. You're trying to get the ball through my goal and I'm trying to get the ball through your goal. So one of the things you can do is move your, like, kind of, I don't know, defender up and down like that. Don't move yet, though. <laughs> your um, background defender with one stick, and then you can move your other stick up and down to move this other guy. Now, the cool thing about this um, kind of middle character you have, you can actually move it inwards, outwards, any way you like. See that? So if you want to get the ball, like, right up here and, you know, get into the action, you can. Um, but the back player always stays at the back like this, okay? Um, can you move your back player as well, just to see if you can do it? No, 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 your back player. That stick, see? So there we go. So we are going to play the first to get 15 points, and you can rotate um, as Ben has done, like that. <laughs> oh, nuts. We'll make it first to 10. So first to 10 points wins. Yes, I've got one. But I can't fix this thing. Oh, it's you just press those um, back buttons to change it. Remember, you can move forward and backwards. Oh, no, I almost got it in my own goal. Yeah, you're gone. Okay. So now we are two to one, two to nil, I mean. <laughs> Notice um, the sound effects. Um, this console, the entire console, all the games can only make three different tones. And that's all it can make. So you never saw this console back in your day? No. While Ben and I play, let's briefly talk about this game. Graphics wise, this game is a step sideways from the last game, as it has four colours as opposed to two. However, it also has a lower resolution of just 102 by 58 pixels, and we don't have very recognisable sprites like we did in the last game. The Fairchild Channel F can produce a total of eight different colours, however a maximum of four can be used per line. Sound effects are also very basic, as the Fairchild Channel F can only produce three different tones. On the bright side, if you want to play a game, the system is compact, and you don't have to go out to an arcade room, wait in line, and insert a coin every time you want to have a turn. Yes, five nothing. I mean, five four. Hey, that didn't look fair. It looked like it went through the red line. By the way, it's so it's so it's too confusing to try and move that other back thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Seven six. Oh no, seven seven. We're actually pretty much equal at this game. Oh, 
Yes, okay. I've just got to get two more points. One more point. No, no. <laughs> yes, okay. So, there we go. I won. What do you feel about this game? Do you think it's an upgrade from the game we played, or do you think it's a downgrade from last time? Uh, a little bit of an upgrade, but not... Not really a big deal, not a real big leap in the night. The thing is, so, though, mm -hmm. the characters, like, there's a lot more freedom. Like, I can move all the way around, as you can see, around the entire screen. But the thing I don't like is, what are these things that we've got? Like, this is hockey. Does this blue thing look like a person? Does this other blue thing look like a goalie? Like, you can't really even see what's going on. So hopefully, as we move through time, the sprites will improve as their resolution improves and we'll actually be able to see what's going on rather than trying to visualise a concept based on lines and dots on a screen. Yeah, I think so. That'd be great. So where to next from here? Let's think about our move to 1977. Overall, the Fairchild Channel F games graphically looked very similar to each other due to the limited colour palette and resolution. Shortly after it was discontinued in 1983, Video Games Magazine described its graphics and sounds as somewhat primitive by the standards of the early 80s. Instead of clinging on to a second generation video game console that's not going to last very long in the market, let's dump it now and upgrade to a much more popular second gen console known as the Atari 2600, which was originally called the Atari VCS when it was released in 1977 and wasn't discontinued until 1992. This thing had 128 bytes of RAM, which is double the amount the Fairchild Channel F had, and instead of just 8 colours, it could display up to 128 colours on the screen at once, but still only a maximum of 4 per line. Leave a comment below choosing which one of the 9 Atari 2600 launch titles I should play in the next episode. Air Sea Battle, Basic Math, Blackjack, Combat, Indy 500, Starship, Street Racer, Surround or Video Olympics. The launch title with the highest amount of votes will be the one we end up playing in the next episode. As you watch this series and we move through the ages, try to forget everything you know about modern games. Follow along and let your imagination run wild as we get excited over what the future may hold. More colours, higher resolutions, and maybe even a bit of in-game music. One day, we may even have a game world that takes several minutes or even more to explore. Forget about what the future holds and stick with me as we explore and rediscover the evolution of video games. See you next time on Gaming Through the Ages.